Hello and welcome back my friends. Today I'm going to show you how to create a split text effect. So basically a word with another word in the middle of it horizontally across. So I'm going to start off with some text and I'm just going to place that text on my workspace. I'm going to change the text to a tall um, text. Uh, so I will use um, this and I'm just going to come in here and because we're uh, creating a, a split text effect, that's what I'm going to um, write in here. Split text. And I'm going to make that a lot bigger like this. And I'm going to um, make the letters, um, reduce the spacing in between the letters um, a little bit there, just so I can get more on the screen. Okay, and now I'm going to add another um, word. And in here, I'm just going to type in um, effect and I'm going to change this to a um, different. Yeah, I'm not liking that because I want to use something that I can stretch. So maybe um, this one here. Um, yeah, maybe I'll use that one. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this um, word and I've centered it there and uh, maybe I'm just going to spread it out all the way like that. And I'm going to grab that and I'm going to bring that in here. And you're probably wondering, Amy, what are you doing? But um, just let's wait it out here for a little bit. Okay. So. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to change the background color because uh, I want to make this a little bit um, prettier. So I'll change it um, to that color, uh, a nice blue. And I'm going to grab this word. Now there's a couple of ways um, to do this. So the first way is you can take the word, you can go into effects and you can use um, text effect background. And what we can do is we can change that color to the same color as our background. Um, and if we go back, we can uh, increase the spread. Mm, but you'll notice that all it really does is create a kind of a circle uh, around it. Now um, we can go back into background and um, okay. Sorry, I picked the wrong um, word there, but and we can um, decrease the roundness to make it square um, like that. And that's a cool effect, too. Um, but I'm just going to turn that off right now. And I don't know, I keep um, clicking on the back word, but I, I'm going to turn that off right now. Sorry, and I'm going to go to none. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to um, put a shape on my workspace and I'm going to take that shape and I'm going to color it the same color as my background. Um, and I'm just going to um, spread that out like this. And I'm going to reduce it like that. And now I've got um, the word that's um, that looks like it's split um, with the word effect uh, in there. Now I can take the shape and um, and I hold on. I think that's the shape right there. Yeah, and I can um, lower the transparency like that if I wanted to. Um, I could also um, change the font color um, to white if I wanted to. 
um, I could change the um, shape color um, to black if I wanted to and do that, but that doesn't look very nice, does it? Um, so let's just, um, just put it back to blue and maybe let's add a shadow effect on the word in the color of black. Okay, and let's just bring up the transparency. Okay, so that is how you create a split text effect. So you'd come in here and you just turn it all the way up and um, it'll look like the text is just split in half. And that's pretty much it. Now, if you learned anything in this video, please don't forget to press that like button and subscribe to be the first to be notified when something new comes out. Uh, for now, my friends, I'll say goodbye until next time.